Linfield were out to maintain their 100% league record when they took on Glenavon at Allen Park in Antrim in the Under-16 National League. And the Blues were quickly into their stride with Carson Elliott almost playing in Lee Ray, but for Connor Byrne who was quickly off his line. The Blues were at it again in the 8th minute, Aaron Brown this time teeing up Lee Ray who saw his shot blocked and Glenavon cleared to safety as the match remained 0-0. Glenavon then fashioned the chance of their own, Joel Bassett playing the cross in for Oshin Barr who volleyed this effort over the crossbar. An excellent piece of interplay was to follow, Barr this time playing it to Ross Hunter who brought this superb save from David Walsh. Linfield then nearly went in front when Glenavon couldn't clear their lines. Carson Elliott rattled the post with another warning shot. Carl Johnson steered the follow-up over the target. The Belfast side then hit the post for a second time. Again, Glenavon struggled to clear. Johnson's volley went agonisingly close. In the second half, Linfield did break the deadlock. Johnson cut his pass back to Carson Elliott. Who afforded too much wriggle room. Linfield striker creating enough space to find the bottom corner. Leaving a little chance in the Glenavon goal. The Lurgan boys pushed forward and Shane Adamson clicked the bar before the Blues almost went two up. Ben Wiley surging forward with possession. Lee Ray tried his luck but forced the shot wide. Linfield wrapped the game up with two minutes to play. Carl Johnson playing in a fantastic through ball and Elliot doubled his tally with this fine finish. That's six wins from six now for Linfield in the league. Full time Linfield two, Glenavon nil. Yeah, it was definitely a, a, a closer game for, for most of the, most of it anyway. It's 60 minutes, 10 minutes kind of got away with us. We tried to we tried to obviously make a few formational changes and, and bring on subs to try and pull something back that we, we can't. I don't think we deserve to be in that situation at that time. But you know. Credit's due where it's due. The uh, Linfield are a tough team. They're, you know, full of good individual players who can, who at times can show the grind out games as well. Yeah. Another day, and, and, and a lot of other days we played Linfield. I like to think we, we could have a position to win it. And, and you know, the, the the kids have to learn from that and, and see where that's going wrong. There's only so much as coaches we can we can kind of guide them. You know, um, at some point, I, I don't think they're far away at the minute. I mean, considering where they were two years ago, um, Linfield beat us eight 0 you know, and six weeks later it was one each. You know, um, take games last year, uh, take game this year again, that's twice. It's improvement, I like that, that's good, that's improvement. Yes, it's 2-0 and we all go home, everybody goes on unhappy, but I mean, for me, the individual performances and what they've gained over the last month with, with the experience playing up in the older age groups, I mean, that, that's, that's what it's for, for us, you know. Um, well, the other thing I would say, it's our first game together in six weeks. Yeah. And I think that definitely showed today, no, no doubt about it. Um, but as I say, we dug in, we, we, got the, we got the win, we got the goals in the end, and probably could have got a lot more yeah. in the end, but certainly not, not a top class performance, no. Yeah, Carson's been, uh, Carson's been top class all season for us. He's a top goal scorer and top assist, and that's from playing mainly out in the right hand side. He's, uh, his finishing is unbelievable, and his, he does a ring for us. Like, I can't speak highly enough of Carson since he's come in. Really, really good. Happy enough, yeah, absolutely. I'm happy to be back involved in the game. Um, I'm, I'm happy for the lads again, you know, we'll, we'll push on there. It's going to be a busy period. Um, as I said, we've only played the six leagues game so far and we're, we're, we're touching Christmas. So, very, very happy. Great bunch of lads. Can't speak highly enough for the lads. So, yeah, happy enough.